Howdy, Longhorns. It's Addie. And Ashley. And welcome back to the 25th edition of the Longhorn Student News from George Ranch High School in Richmond, Texas. On the program this week, the boys made a new episode of the studio basketball version, and Ellie and Julian have the Longhorn Sports Report. Sit back and enjoy the 25th edition of the Longhorn Student News from George Ranch High School in Richmond, Texas. Let's, Let's go. My name is Giacomo. I'm from corporate and uh, I was here to help this studio work on their team building skills by playing basketball. Alright, so since you're HR, let's just do HR versus the studio, yeah? Alright, I'm done. Like, let's just do it. Okay, alright. Well, we get ball first then. Oh, you guys get ball first? Yeah, we get ball first. No, let's do rock, paper, scissors. Oh, right oh you're you flinching, huh? Stop, yeah. Man. How about you get back there, pal? No, rock, paper, scissors. Fine. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. I think it's a little odd that corporate's here because I know I've been doing a good job, but I'm excited to play some basketball. Oh, I'm ready. Let's check up. Come on. Ball is life. Okay. All right, check up then. Check up. Okay. Pal. Okay, bro. Let's go, HR. All right, let's go. You, let's ain't, go you ain't got it like me. Let's go to the studio. Okay. You know who you're talking to? Talking Angelo, to? cut. To? Cut, Angelo. Who <laughs> My name is Michael. I also go by Mike. I'm also from corporate. I don't even like basketball like that. All right, you guys might have got that point. Doesn't matter. Check up. We got this team. Come on, studio on me, studio on three. Was that, did you guys not see that yeah, foul? I, I saw you saw foul. that foul. I saw a foul. I saw a foul. I saw a foul. That was a foul. I saw a foul. I saw a foul. Give me my, give me my two. Yeah, give me my two. Yep. Run me my twos. Oh, work. Thank you, Julian. Appreciate that. Give me some. Come on, team. Hey, you at? Let's go. Whatever. Get out of my head. Get nervous. I'm really thankful Corfish really taking action because like Kevin's really been like really selfish lately and he's been like forcing us to do stuff that normally we don't do and you know especially since ever since he's taken over this past year there have been some changes that have been really unsettling for us employees and thank God Corp is doing something to take action. All right bro check up what's good then? Actually good. no wait wait time out I want to talk to my team. Time out? Bro you time can't out. do that. I have time out anyways you I don't care. You can't do that bro. I don't care. Dude. Time out. Whatever bro. Alright team bring it in. All right, so here's the game plan, okay? I want I'm gonna get on Giacomo. All right, you guys. Yeah. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, 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 hey man. Okay. These, these, these little cheaters. All right, so uh -huh. that's the plan, okay? Okay. I, I'll just give the ball to me. That's what I need. Okay. okay just, just give it to me. Okay. Just we give it to me. Make some shots. Okay. We will make some okay. shots. Kevin. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, studio on me. Studio on three. One, two, three. Studio.
All right, match point, 2020. Right. Next point wins. Good luck to you. You'll need it. <laughs> you might have lost the basketball game that day, but you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Quote LeBron James. All right, 2020, next point wins. Check up. Let's go. Yo. <laughs> Ready to go? Don't yeah. Don't in your head, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Twice. Twice is crazy, bro. <laughs> Locked out, baby. You on clamps. Howdy, Longhorns. Welcome back into the Longhorn Sports Report. This week, we recap the state championships for swim, along with more action here at the ranch. Let's dive right in. Coach Cubs' baseball team went 2-3 and three in the Bridgeland tournament this past weekend, winning 7-0 over Bridgeland and 14-0 over Shadow Creek. Sophomore Carson Morton shined against Bridgeland High School, going six innings with seven strikeouts while only allowing one hit. GR hosts the LCISD tournament this weekend here at the ranch. Be sure to come out or you can listen in live on GRHS iRadio. Coach Witt's Lady Longhorn softball team continues to win. They moved to 3-0 in 26A play with a huge 11-2 win over Fort Bend Travis this past Tuesday. They also picked up a couple good wins in the Columbia High School tourney. They're now 9-1 and one and are on the hunt for glory. Moving along, Coach Jackson's soccer club lost to Fort Bend Ridgepoint last Friday and hosted Fort Bend Bush this week as well. They play away to Fort Bend Hightower tomorrow at noon. Lady Longhorn Soccer also lost to Fort Bend Ridgepoint here at the ranch this past Friday. They travel to face Fort Bend Bush this Wednesday as well. Next week, they face Fort Bend Dulles at Dulles High School on Tuesday, March 3rd at 7.30 p.m. Longhorn track and field are back in business. We had a couple school records being broken this past meet as Kaylin Goodman and Meredith Mori broke school records in a 300-meter hurdle and pole vault. Congrats to both of y'all. Both teams will be split up this weekend as they participate in the Texas A&M Invitational and the Spartan Relays at Stafford High School. Good luck, everyone. GR Swim capped off their season with the state championships. Congrats to both Emily Ford and Lily Sheck, who placed 15th and 10th respectively in their events. Congrats to everyone who qualified. GR has announced a new football coach. We'd love to welcome head coach Vought to the ranch as he is taking over the vacant head coach spot left by former Longhorn coach Cavallo. Here's a short interview introducing our brand new head coach. Uh, you know, my name is Casey Vaught, and I'm excited to be the head football coach here at George Ranch. Uh, again, uh, my, my, this will be my 24th season uh, coaching football. Uh, spent 20 years in uh, college ranks uh, from uh, Louisiana, Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York to Georgia. Uh, and then uh, my wife and I made a decision, a family decision, to come close to home as my wife is from uh, South Tex here in South Texas. Uh, so we're very excited to be back home. What's your approach coming in? Uh, big, biggest thing is build relationships, uh, again, with, with, from the, the coaches I'm going to work with on a day-to-day -day basis to our student-athletes, um, and then also, again, our teachers that will be servicing our students. Uh, and then uh, after meeting those people, is, is a, you start to evaluate uh, where we can make the program better. And what do you know about George Ranch coming in? Well, it, obviously, I spent a year here in, in the district over at Randall High School. Uh, so, again, you hear a lot of things, uh, really good things about what was going on with the program and from with the school. Um, but, again, is, is being an outsider, uh, again, the, the name George Ranch, uh, you know, I've, I've been hearing for years uh, what a great school it is and a great program. And uh, I'm excited to be continue that legacy here. What's your plan uh, this spring as you try to get ready for next season? Uh, biggest thing again is, is our relationships, but uh, again, we're, we're uh, again just getting here. Uh, again, we, we've got basically a month and a half until we start spring football. Um, so again, we're, we're planning on doing our, our spring uh, full spring practice uh, uh, session to again kind of build continuity with the team. Uh, again, and install some some new concepts on uh, offense and defense, and also on special teams uh, to again prepare our kids for the fall football season. That wraps it up for this week, Longhorns. Make sure to tune in next week for more here on the Longhorn Sports Report. So, so long, long everyone. everyone. That's all we have on the program this week, Longhorns. So for Angelo, Brett, Corinne, Derek, Ellie, Julian, Kevin, and Miley, I'm Addie. And I'm Ashley. And we'll see you right back here on the program next Friday.
Have a fun and safe weekend, Longhorns. So, so long, y'all. Good job. Good job. Good job, Derek. Good one.